Glyn, how was it for you? Mm, four, four, five, two. Not bad. Four, five, two. How was it for you, Jeremy? Four, five, two. Four, five, two. Right, Jeremy, let's hear it, please. Four times a hundred plus ten. Yeah. Plus. Is four forty? Plus yeah. nine plus three. Because nine plus three is four five two. Yes, good. Well, that course is seven points. What about you, Glyn? Similar. I added the hundred and the ten together, and also the three, and then multiplied by four. And then must be right. Yes, same answer. F uh, four five two. Correct. Well then, four five one. Yeah. I think we're looking at it. It's we? actually a lot easier than you think. Four times a hundred is four hundred, and then three multiplied by ten plus seven, three seventeens, fifty one. At the moment. Yeah. Good. Well, the scores, 13 and 25 at half-time, so a wide open game, and we uh, hand over for the last time to Martin Joyce. Well, there's a lovely lady working here at Yorkshire Television who's in charge of lots of people, and they do her bidding. Her name is Liz Westbrook. In fact, she's standing very near to me now, and this afternoon she showed me a piece that I'd never seen before. Um, not to ask me to read it on the programme, but I just thought I would, because it's... It's by George Bernard Shaw, and uh, a great dramatist, one of my favourite writers, and I uh, uh, just thought I'd share it with you. I'll try and do it in a little bit in the voice of Bernard Shaw. I just remember him. He died, I think, in the 50s when I was a little boy. So I think this is an extraordinary piece. This is the true joy in life, the being used for a purpose recognised by yourself as a mighty one. I am of the opinion that my life belongs to the whole community, and as long as I live it, it is my privilege to do for it whatever I can. I want to be thoroughly used up when I die. For the harder I work, the more I live. I rejoice in life for its own sake. Life is no brief candle to me. It is a sort of splendid torch which I have got hold of for the moment. And I want to make it burn as brightly as possible before handing it on to future generations. Which is what he did. Thank you. <laughs> well, there we are. GBS uh, has interpreted by MJ. Thank you very much. This is RW saying SYS. See you soon. back again and uh, on with the motley as they say Jeremy Noble challenging on 13 and uh, Glyn Wiggly there champion on 25 Glyn it's your turn a consonant please Carol L and another S and another D <laughs> yes we go, we go after that in our Lucy job. in the sky with and that. another please and another S um, vowel, please. O. And another. And another one. I. And another. E. And another. A. And a consonant, please. And a consonant, thank you. Instead. Thank you. On we go. Nine letters in the frame. On we go. Only six, I'm afraid. Not bad. Jeremy? Six for me. Right, what's yours, Jeremy? Solids. Solids, yours? Solids. Solids. Yeah, we're okay with solids. Susie, completely on her own, got lassoed. <laughs> lassoed. <Yeah. laughs> lassoed is fine for seven. Yeah, for seven. Yeah. Uh, lassoed. Yes, good. Yeah. Uh, well, that's good, but we've got six here, so on the scores are 19 and 31, and we move on to you, Jeremy, for some more letters. A uh, consonant, please, Carol. Thank you. B. And uh, vowel. 
O. T. <laughs> Another vowel, please, quickly. <laughs> a. And a consonant. Consonant. N. Another consonant. F. Another one, please. T. And a vowel. E. A consonant. L. Another consonant, and please. Another consonant, thank you. C. Yes, thank you. Here we go, right now. Jeremy? Seven. Seven. Glyn? Seven. Glyn, seven. Notable. Notable. Jeremy? If it's not disallowed again, conflab. Conflab. Oh dear. <laughs> it's not in, I'm afraid, uh, Jeremy. Uh, you so nearly, evil. so nearly were on to conflate, which is in for a conflate, yeah. which we, I think usually means putting various things together. together. We use it a lot That's in right. the theatre and so on, you're putting things together. Conflate. Mm -hmm. uh, well, 1938. And we now move on to round seven with Glenn, please. A consonant, please, Carol. H. And another. Another one. V. And another. Another one. F. And another. And N. And a vowel, please. A. And another. U. And another. O. And another. And another A. And a consonant, please. Thank you very much, Glyn, and G. Thank you. Uh, the countdown starts now. Yeah, Jeremy? Only four, I'm afraid. Four. What's the four, Jeremy? Fang. Fang. Yeah, what's yours, Glyn? Fauna. F-A-U-N-A? Yeah. Yes, Fine. Good. Well done, yeah. Good. Martin? <laughs> Did you have another five? I didn't, unfortunately, no. Uh, well, I ought, well, no, I only got four. I've often said you should be hung, drawn and quoted. <laughs> and um, <laughs> hung for four. <laughs> 1943. That was a good year. It was a... <laughs> By gum, that was a good year. Excellent year. Excellent, excellent year. <laughs> um, Jeremy, now numbers, please. Oh, one from the top and five others, please. Carol. Okay, thank you. 1943 was when Richard celebrated his 21st birthday. By the <laughs> <laughs> um, the numbers are seven and nine, two and three, eight and seventy-five, and the target is low again, 181. Low, but perfectly formed. Here we are. One, eight, one. 